Hello. We're gonna do some slip plating on the truck today. I'm a little bit uh I'm a little bit behind on doing slip plate on it. But that's the plan. I'm gonna see what we can get done today. Might not be able to do as thorough a job as I want to be get done, but we shall see. Get this truck turned on here. I gotta I gotta, I gotta drive down there. Go get the uh here they hitch a cord in the grinder with the wheel. See if we can uh, grind some of that rust off. I don't, I should have done it before the rust got on the truck, but it's winter time. Winter time it took its toll on the truck. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to get the grinder wheel and a um, little wire wheel and um, the grinder and a wire wheel. And, and, uh, See if I can get some of that rust off and slip plate it. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do to uh, how I slip plate the truck, anyways. We can uh, see if we can find the grinder and a grinder with a wire wheel on it and a stinger cord. Here's my slip plate. I've had it for a little while. I had a little leak in it actually somehow, but uh, anyways, uh. Here's how I mix it up, the best way to mix it up. I never had any luck mixing them up. This is this is the best way right here. This little paint shaker here. Just put it in there, tighten it down. Oh. Get your air hose. Oh yeah. Let her get her down. That's good enough right there. That should be. I'll let it, let it shake for a while. Oh. Probably should be wearing a seatbelt, huh? This is everything you're gonna need. You need a slip plate. I've tried using, there may be different kinds of slip plate than this. Um, I've tried to use some stuff I found at a, uh, a farming store, but it, it was it was junk, honestly. Um, you need your WD-40. That way, in case something, it drips and it, it will drip on something, on your paint. You can take this and this old rag right here and uh, if you catch it when it first falls on there, you can get it off with this WD-40. Um, that's what I use. I guess you could probably use any kind of lubricant product. Um, you need just flathead screwdriver to open the slip plate up. And um, I'm gonna use this, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know, this little foam br brush. 
Um, this is what I'm gonna use. You can use a regular brush if you want to. Um, also, what you can use is probably actually faster. I just never seem to have it. Is uh, like a dishwashing glove and take the dishwashing glove, put it on your hand, so that way your hand don't get dirty like mine already is. I ain't even started yet. Um, and put an old sock on top of that. Dip the old sock in a in a slip plate, and then you just you know, then you just rub uh rub the slip plate wherever you want it to. That that way is the fastest way but this is what i got i never have a dishwashing glove when i need it um but
got dark on me. I kind of started late in the day, but that's that's what I get for procrastinating. But um, uh, yeah, I don't know how well of a job I did because it got dark on me, like I said. But we'll see tomorrow. But this is what your hands will look like afterwards. You get this stuff everywhere. It's it's not a clean job if you've done it before. You know what I'm talking about. You need to wear old clothes, old shoes. Plan on taking a shower afterwards. It's just a messy job that nobody likes doing. Especially if you don't get paid for it, like I don't. So, yeah, well, I've had places, well, I'd say 95% of the time I've ever did this and never got paid for it because I used to own my own truck. But now I drive for other people and I still don't get paid for it. But, um, but anyways, most jobs you don't get paid for this, but some of them you do. Uh, sometimes the uh, sometimes the mechanics will do it for you where you work at, but they don't usually do that good of a job. Usually they get it all over your truck. That's why that's why I like to use this WD-40. Nobody else tip. Well, I guarantee if a mechanic does it, they ain't using no WD-40. If it gets on your truck, it gets on your truck. They don't care. They're gonna probably do it in about an hour and this will be done. Really takes about, really takes a good four or five hours to do it right. Well, it's all done. Make sure you paint your decks off. Let it set at least overnight. Um, if not 24 hours, let the graphite dry, the slip plate. And you don't want it coming back in the tube then drying because it it'll possibly get dried up and stick the tubes together. I had a buddy do that, and uh, he had a heck of a time trying to get the tube back out of the other tube. Really? Another train? Well, she's all done. I do, I do see a couple little small spots I missed last night because it got dark and I couldn't see no more. But that's why you want to start earlier in the day than what I did. I started about 6.30 and got done about 9.30, but I really, uh, I really could have took my time a little bit better and, uh, it would have took longer, but, but anyways, she's all done. I left her up overnight to dry out, so time to head off to work now.